Good evening. It is Sunday the 7th of November and I am currently on a bus heading from Cambridge to Stansted Airport to get home from the finale of the Scion game. Uh, we have just passed Adam Brooks Hospital on the outskirts of Cambridge and um, this is going to make for an interesting but very bumpy and quite late blog post. Um, I assure you that none of the jumping around is being faked. Anyway, um, a fair amount to get through this week because I had a stroke of genius and um, decided to make some notes on my iPad so that I would actually remember everything that's happened throughout the week. So that I would be able to relate it to you without so much umming and ahhing on a Saturday or Sunday evening. Um, so let's get started. Monday the 1st, I was looking at my iPad, my brand spanking new iPad, and thought to myself, it's National Novel Writing in a Month Month, or shortened to Nanarimo, and I've just got a word processor that I can carry around with me. So I decided to write at least a short story on my novel, on my uh, iPad this month. Now the target for Nanarimo is 50,000 words, which requires the, uh, about 1,600 a day, um, and there is no way I'm going to make that target, especially as I haven't had the chance to do any writing today. Um, but it is quite interesting. Um, my short story took an interesting turn very quickly in the first chapter when it gained some direction with what it was going to be uh, and it changed into the prequel to Animus um, more details later on when I feel like releasing them um, now, also on Monday, I had a job interview with an old friend uh, for Christmas work at the game store in the Harvey Centre. Uh, it's only a temporary job, but I aced it and I got the job. Start sometime this coming week. Uh, they've got a couple of big releases, sort of Monday and Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so they want to get those out of the way, and then they're going to start me hopefully Thursday or Friday, uh, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so yeah. So then I am uh, Thursday. We have now entered a black void of countryside, so there's no lights passing behind me. Uh, on Thursday I worked a cover shift of the Playhouse, um, which was very long and very fraught with peril, uh, because there were two shows on that night that were starting 15 minutes apart, which is a very unusual instance at the Playhouse. Um, I also got news of utmost importance for you, you, the viewer. Uh, my friend and common companion in the filmmaking uh, endeavours has surpassed my subscriber count. 
Um, and I mean, we're, we're not exactly in the millions and millions of subscribers mark here, but um, I feel this is at the moment completely unacceptable. Um, so I am going to try and push for more subscribers. Um, so my suggestion to you is you ask on my channel to somebody else that you know with an account we try and push my account higher. Um, also have a look at his, because his is quite good as well. But don't subscribe. Or if you do subscribe, make sure you also subscribe to mine. Um, yes. Now, I'm going to try and do the rest of this in a slightly better light when I get to the train station. So anyway, a little bit of time passes, and I'm now at Stansted Airport, or the Stansted Airport train station, which is of course a lot more fun, uh, largely because it means I can catch a train, uh, but also that you can see me. So yeah, uh, yesterday. Uh, Yesterday it was my cousin's birthday party, my seven-year-old cousin, uh, and we went to the uh, Quasar Centre in Harlow, and we had a lot of fun. Um, basically, I was the red team captain, and uh, in game one, I had my cousin, my older cousin, and uh, in game two I had my uncle on my team. Uh, and basically in both games my team won, which was nice. Um, in the second game I got the highest points of the game, uh, 30,100 and something. Uh, which was cool. Um, obviously, they were all like seven. For the most part, they were seven. So it wasn't a great victory, but it was something. And then I spent an hour or so handing out posters for the Playhouse. 